Happy, happy new year! I'm Heidi, Simon's mama here at Simon Says Stamp in Columbus, Ohio. Thank you to Brian for setting up tons of inspiration. He is behind the scenes today while Reed is on a very well-deserved holiday. So we miss you, Reed, but we know you'll be back soon. And Brian, we know we're in good hands with Brian. Today we're loaded. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's, he, he gave you a high five. So today we have, if you're watching us live, we have something really special for you. We have a great treat for you. It's a $100 gift card if you're watching us live. Brian is going to be watching the chat. So while you're chatting with us, I see Touch of Magic, Susan Opal. Thank you, Beth, for moderating the chat. If you have questions, Beth will be answering you. I see we've got Lisa Jav in today. We've got Marie, Tina. Hi, everybody. Kathy Zilski's here in the house, too. We have products from Kathy Zilski that she has designed and inspiration. This live today is going to be loaded with inspiration, news, special coupon codes, a huge giveaway. It is a new year. Every month during 2024, we are going to be celebrating 20 years of distress with Tim Holtz. Can you believe it's been 20 years already? Thanks to Tim and Ranger and everything that you've done for the industry, because if we didn't have ink and distress products, how boring would stamping be? I mean, just think about all the life that ink and color adds to our life. So we are gonna be celebrating 20 years of distress all year long. Every month, we're going to celebrate a new, well, we're gonna celebrate a distress product every month. And you could win $500 gift card every month. So we have 12 gift cards. Each of them is $500. If you hashtag SSS 20 years of distress on Instagram, on any project you make using any Tim Holtz distress product, you are eligible for that $500 gift card. And that is every month, all year for 2024. So early February, we will draw one person from Instagram posts. If you don't have an Instagram account, this is a great reason to get an instant Instagram account. Post something you've made using Distress. This month, we are celebrating Tim's embossing glazes. Now, I've got a lot of information in this live, so if you're watching on rewatch, you may even pause. Since we're celebrating during January, Tim's embossing glazes we are running them on sale for you starting today. If you put an embossing glaze in your cart and use this code DSTR20, you'll get 20% off all of Tim's embossing glazes. And really probably a good way to do that is to get sets, you know, cause then you can add a bunch to your, your inventory all at once. The embossing glazes are beautiful, beautiful colors that are all in Tim's classic distress colors. And if you've been paying attention to what's going on in the Tim Holtz world, you know that tomorrow is the grand finale of his new color releases. His new color, his newest distress color is going to be revealed tomorrow. We have it at Simon Says Stamp. It's already here. It's on pre-order on our website. We're not gonna start shipping until tomorrow, but tomorrow Tim will have a live at noon, noon Eastern time where he'll be revealing that new distress color. And the glaze is eligible for 20% off because it's 20 years of distress. So we're gonna be celebrating embossing, Tim's embossing glazes. So I see, uh, oh good, Tina likes that. Yes, yes, yes. So if you don't have an Instagram account, Remember, now is a great time to get one. And if you have one, anything you use with any, any Tim Holtz Distress product, just put a hashtag on it, SSS 20 years of distress. And we will be drawing every month for that $500 gift card. Okay, so thank you for joining me live. If you're watching on Rewatch, you can participate in that too. If you're watching live, you're eligible today also for an additional $100 gift card. We like it when you guys join us live because then we get to see your chat and comment in real time. Like I see Ruth is still trying to build up her Distress Ink collection. It's a good time to start in 2024. 
Uh, you'll they'll be loaded with inspiration. Uh, also, the new color is coming tomorrow to be revealed. New colored. Oh, Christine already pre-ordered the, the new color. Love the glazes. I see. Brian set this iPad up for me today so beautifully that I can see all the chat at once. And I just, I love seeing that you guys are here with me live. And Heather Rui, thank you too, because Heather uh, illustrate or sends us inspiration with our illustrations every time we do a live too. So it's nice to see people like Heather in the house who are going to be watching because I am loaded. This table in front of me is loaded with inspiration for you. We actually have two releases that we're going to be showcasing today. One came out in December. I don't know about you, but for me, December is a really hard time to be thinking about any kind of Valentine's themed, love themed, really anything that's not Christmas. It's hard for me to be thinking about it in December if it's not Christmas or holiday related. So we saved all these products and inspiration for you for January because I just couldn't wrap my head around showcasing this beautiful inspiration in December when my mind and so many of your minds were on the holiday season, whatever you're celebrating, Hanukkah, Christmas, any of those things. So in showcasing this inspiration, I was thinking about this when I was driving in the car today on my way here, which Brian knows I'm always popping in right before we start because my brain is, is on fire with ideas. And I look at these two releases that we have for you. One of them is called Smitten, and one of the releases is called Sweetheart. Now it's that time of year. If you go to the grocery, if you go to a craft store, you see lots of hearts, lots of pinks, lots of reds. You see lots of products that seem like romantic maybe love. And you know what? It, it, th this does not have to be a romantic love release. And I think that you're gonna see in our, in our inspiration today, there, there's lots of ways to express love. Sweetheart can mean a lot of different things. I mean, my grandpa used to call me sweetheart. We can send Valentines to our kids. I think what, I, what I'm gonna do is show the inspiration for you and instead of talking at you so much, so that then you can kind of give it an idea of what I'm talking about. So, and make sure, um, Brian, I think you can switch the camera. I'll start showcasing products from the Smitten release first. Um, make sure you remember that if you're commenting today, anything about the product, about what you want to see come out this year in 2024, any comments you make, Brian is gonna be watching the comments so that possibly you could win a $100 gift card to Simon Says Stamp. So this card is by Joe Sisavath, and he used our brand new ladies mantle dies. And I've got another card by Nina Marie Trapani, who is also in the live today. She also used the ladies mantle dies. I'm hoping that I show you all this inspiration today and you're inspired. I think January is an exceptionally hard time of year Mental health tends to take its toll on a lot of us in January. I know for me included, in January, it's darker. The days are darker longer, at least in the United States. And crafting is a great way to stimulate your mental health. I've got these projects. I'll read the names. We've got this Kissing Booth stamp set that's got lots of sentiments in it. We also have coordinating dies, like we normally do our coordinating dies. Our Simon Says Stamp coordinating dies are all made in the USA. They're sold separately or as a set. I've got really cute inspiration. This one is by Callie Person, and see how it's a little table stand? Hard to see um, on a table that's like this, but you would just lay this on your shelf. I like how Callie thinks outside the box, literally, this is outside the box. And then I've got this other one. It's funny because for a long time, this is by Jean Doringsfeld. For a long time, I never understood what SWAK meant. Is there anybody else in our chat? Like, I, I just would see SWAK, it means sealed with a kiss. How cute is that? So this is something that you can make for friends, for teachers, for your grandkids, for your kids, for your neighbor kids. Uh, any sentiments on here. Happy Valentine's Day, happy Galentine's Day. That's definitely something really popular in 2024. Always and forever. I love you, super lots. 
besties forever for my ride or die. And again, try to make sure that your mind isn't only thinking about romantic love when you think about things like Valentine's. There's lots of opportunity to share joy and love and happiness. Okay, so here is a beautiful six by eight stamp set. It's exclusive here at Simon Says Stamp called Forever Love. Making is so good for our mental health. How about these bright colors? This card by Susie Plantumera. I love that Susie's always thinking bright, happy colors. When I see a Susie card, I can see lots of bright, happy colors. We have a new glitter cardstock pack with this smitten release. And Susie used some of the glitter in that die. Now that die, I don't have in front of me right now, but you'll see it coming up. This is a love you die. And our smitten cardstock pack has all these beautiful glitter cardstocks. These die cut beautifully. Our Simon Says Stamp glitter cardstock is a no shed. So you're not going to have a bunch of glitter on your table and on your fingers or the recipient when they get that card isn't going to have a lot of glitter on their hands. More cards, a Cali person thinking about how good is making for your mental health. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more too, Jean Doringsfeld. So when you're making, there is something that happens chemically. If anybody is on this chat who is involved in psychology or psychotherapy, you understand that when you trigger that creative side of your brain, it stimulates endorphins. And they really do make you <laughs> brighter and happier. But as I think about, I've talked a lot about mental health in 2023. I did a podcast with Cindy Monroe, and that was one of the focus of, of her podcast was mental health and how creating is so good for our mental health. But I also am thinking about the new year ahead and the year behind me. Here's some tags, love you tag and tag adornments. And you can see how they create all these special shapes. This series was made by Susie Plantamura. So the other thing, I look back at 2023 and I don't know about, probably like most of you who are watching and listening today, the most important things in my life are family and friends, right? I mean, I, I hope a lot of you can relate to that hot foil plate. Family and friends isn't great, is great because you're making cards. You can make cards for your family and friends. But what I really discovered in 2023, 2023 has been the hardest year of my life and my family's life. And it was filled with ups and with downs. When I think about the ups, I mean, I don't want to go too, too into detail over the downs. I mean, we've all got different things in our life that impact us negatively. But one of the things I think of when I think of ups is how my family and friends showed up for me in 2023. And I think about card making, something physical, the sentiment, the texts that I get from my family and friends, the cards that our card making community, I mean, I don't even know. I think there's a lot of people on our design team that might have no idea that even though I work with them every day that 2023 was an incredibly difficult year for me. And I got cards from people that not even probably knowing that it was so hard. It just brightened my day to get cards. Look at this, Jessica Vasher, thank you. So getting cards, getting a handmade note has been wonderful, but I also wanna share another idea that I think it was Sarah Kowalski here at Simon Says Stamp. I don't know if Sarah's on our live today. She's actually also enjoying another very well-deserved day off. She did something where she gathered everybody at our office and they wrote little notes on pieces of paper of encouragement and kindness. Some people stamped, some people put stickers on their notes. And she made a jar, like a fishbowl, and it's in my office. And I walk into my office and I can grab a little note out of my fishbowl and talk about making somebody's day. You don't have to stamp it. You could stencil, you could color. You can put a fishbowl in your kitchen and you can have your kids drawing from it every time they come over, some kind of encouraging word or sentiment. You could have it for your spouse in the bathroom. You could put it on your coworker's desk, make lots of little notes. You can have everybody in the family. So again, I talk about highs and lows. One of my other highs of this year is my daughter unknowingly, she did not know that Sarah, I don't think that she knew Sarah did this for me. She made me a little box kind of like similar to Valentine's boxes. So if you have kids and grandkids and you're looking for something to do with them this time of year, take a shoe box, decorate a shoe box. And in decorating that shoe box, you can fill it 
I mean, that's what my kids teachers. I remember my son and daughter had a great time decorating shoe boxes for their Valentines every year. Now they're a little old, a little older than making that for school. But I would encourage you whether you're making a shoe box for school or not to have your kids make a shoe box at home and fill it with encouraging words for each other. So I think about my highs and I think about how my daughter, as I'm showcasing all these beautiful cards and inspiration, I'm thinking about how my daughter gave me this little box of notes. She had her brother, and I don't know if you have siblings in your family, but it was fun to have my kids actually work together on a project. She had her brother also write little notes to me, and so I come out of my bathroom and I can pick up a little note. So these handwritten touches, these are examples of handwritten notes and even cards None of them had anything to do with romantic love. Now you could also take it a step into romantic love, but there's so many ways to help your own mental health by creating and also share and help other people's mental health because my mental health has very much impacted this year with card making and um, notes and inspiration. My sister-in-law, same thing. We have the best times when we're crafting together with my nieces and even my daughter in the craft room. So now I'll stop lecturing a little bit and start talking a little more about the products I'm showing you. Again, all of these products are from the Smitten Collection here at Simon Says Stamp. This is a set of dies. This one is called Petal Heart and you can see how you can paper piece it together. There's more of our glitter paper uh, to make something like this. This one, I'm not sure who made this little ornament. It wasn't made. It wasn't noted. Okay, Brian, thank you for putting all these together for me. But it's interesting. It was probably Sherry or Nina because Sherry and Nina work a lot with our packaging. And um, ironically, this looks very similar to the packaging. And then this beauty, oh my goodness, Daniel West. Look, I love how he used a 3D embossing folder in the background behind his petal too. This is called Petal Heart. And then this is a nice card. This is an A7 sized card by Susie Plantamara. Susie is another one of those people I talk about mental health. Thank you if you're, if you're watching Susie or even on your rewatch. Susie's really good about texting me and sending funny jokes and sending funny pictures. Um, there's another one of the petal heart there. But I'm gonna talk about the Love You dies next. This is called Fancy Love You. And I say dies, I'm not sure. If I don't take this out of the envelope, it might be hard for you to understand. This is actually a set of two dies. You could use them together or you use some snips. There's tons of companies that have die metal snips on the market and we sell them all here at Simon Says Stamp because we wanna be your one-stop shop. So if you snip those apart, you can have the background and the foreground. This card was made by Emily Midget. Thank you, Emily, for sending this. And I've got one by Callie Person using the Love You. She did a vellum in the background as her shadow, a nice little added touch on her card. So I'm showing you a lot of cards today. You know, when you send an encouraging note to somebody, it doesn't have to be a full card. You can stamp on a sticky note. You could stamp on a shoebox. You know, like I talk about my kids making their Valentine's shoeboxes in the years past. Um, these are, this is My Love Greetings. This actually goes with a stamp set, so I'm going to pull that out in a couple minutes. But you'll see that petal heart here. Here is the Plentiful Petals dies. These were designed for us by Memory Box, so they're exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. I always love the Memory Box detail products. You'll see this card is by Barbara Terriau. Oh my gosh, you guys have to check out Barbara Terriau's Instagram. Her hands and her nails are so beautiful, not just her cards, but her nails and hands, I'm like, I've never seen, she could be a hand model. This is by Joe Sisevath. This is a tag. He used our glitter card stock there as well. I like seeing these pops of glitter card stock coming up, coming up all over too. Sorry, I dropped it. Testing, one, two, three. You guys, let me know in the chat if you can hear me. I dropped my little microphone. Okay, 
Thank you, Brian, for that quick recovery. I dropped my microphone when I, I dropped. I'm a little bit of a, a little bit of a bull in a china shop. Uh, Joe Sisevath made this cute little gift box. How cute is that? You could put a gift card in there. You could put treats in there, and he accentuated it with the plentiful petals. That's another great way to send somebody a little something special. Give them a little, a little baggie like this, and put a little stickers in it or a Starbucks gift card in it. Oh my gosh, the imagination can go wild when you send people little things. And how fun is it to be to come to your desk or to go into your car or to go into your bathroom and see little notes, treasured notes. They don't have to be love notes, any kind of notes. So this is Love You. See how it's the main die and the background die? You guys are seeing me use showcase a lot of inspiration with this Love You. This lined Love You has been wildly popular from our Smitten release. This card was made by Callie Person. Love, she used the glitter stock. Mindy Egan, gold. She used our Simon Says Stamp metallic gold. Heather Rui, I like how she did black and pink. Love you. I've got another card by Emily Midget. I like how she, look at how interesting is that? She actually used the negative space on her card. Blended, beautiful blended background. And then last but not least, another gorgeous card using those same colors by Emily Midget. So really, really beautiful. So I talk about mental health and I look back at 2023 and I can say things like, man, that was a really, really, really hard year. But I tell you what, I am so optimistic about 2024. There are so many great people in our community, so many friends, so much family. I encourage you to spread encouragement on social media. Comment when you see your sister-in-law's card or your grandma's picture. I don't know if many of you have your grandma's posting on social media. I'm not sure if that's realistic, but um, a friend, a neighbor, comment on what they're doing. Make sure you say positive, sending love and hugs. Sending love and hugs here too by Jean's, Jean Doringsfeld. All these cards we're using this cling stamp. This one is called Flower Burst, made in the USA. I just can't encourage you enough the impact that it makes in people's lives when you say positive things in written word and typed word when you're card making. Oh, Heather Rui, look at those blues. Um, please, I just encourage you. It really makes a difference in people's lives and your kids too. Those little notes, my son will probably kill, kill me for telling you this story, but he went to fishing camp this summer and I made these little hand notes and I stuffed them in his suitcase when he wasn't looking because he was gone for two weeks. He went to fishing camp for two weeks as a 15 year old. I was besides myself. I missed him so very much, but I put little hand notes and, and you know, when I unpacked his suitcase, when he came back, he had saved I didn't count because I sent probably 20 notes. He had saved a, a, most of them, if not all of them. And um, that made me feel like he, even though he never said a word about those notes, it made me feel like they meant something to him because he saved them. And it's funny, when I go to my mom's house, sometimes I see little things she'll put on the refrigerator that I've made her through the years. Or my grandma, um, before she passed away, when I would go visit her, I would see she had little notes and handmade cards on her refrigerator. So you know that those notes, people are walking by them and they're remembering and they're uplifted, um, not just in the moment of when they get it, but then repeatedly day after day. Now, I love this idea. This was by Emily Midget. So Emily actually took a picture frame so we talk about displaying notes and displaying art. What a great housewarming gift for a new neighbor or an in-law or somebody who's moved or even for yourself just to put on your shelf. So Emily used these new products, European Street Buildings is this stamp set. This has been wildly popular. I know Zach here at Simon's Stamp said he lived in Europe for a while and he saw this and immediately knew he had to have it because it reminded him of his time he spent in Europe. Um, and these are the European street add-ons. This is a little three by four stamp set for you. All of our stamps are made here in the United States. And I've got even more inspiration. This one is by Mindy Egan using the European street add-ons. And a fun story about European street, at European street, many of you probably know Laura Basson. Laura does our reveal videos here at Simon Says Stamp. 
her daughter, Bailey, illustrated this stamp, both of these stamp sets. So how special is that when you've worked with, oh my goodness, I don't even know how long, uh, well, I don't know if Laura's live or not. Brian, can you see if Laura, she may not be joining us live, but I mean, I think we've worked with Laura for, I mean, well over 10 years. So how fun is that when you see the circle of life, you know, when you get to work with somebody's child as well? I mean, that makes it um, extra special. So talk about encouraging words. This stamp set is called My Love Greetings, loaded with fun sentiments to the amazing person I love. Happy Love Day, love and hugs. XOXO, I love you. I love so much about you, pretty much everything, actually. These are also good sentiments to put in the inside of a card, as well as making them creative on the outside. Uh, you are my person. Happy Valentine's Day. My favorite place is right beside you. My love, my partner, my friend. I love us. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Each day keeps getting better and better. In your arms is where I want to be. Very sweet. Our love story is my favorite. That, that's a little bit more on the lovey side. Very, very tender and sweet. And this card was made by Susie Plantamura. She spreads sunshine everywhere she goes. Okay, going back a little bit to that house theme, there's a die set in the Smith release called House Border Frame. And here's a piece of inspiration from that. This inspiration is by Sherry. Is Sherry in our live today? Sherry Carroll. Sherry is, I mean, we talk about family and friends and friends that are family. My kids know her as Sherry. Um, you know, Sherry's been part of our Simon Says Stamp family for many, many, many years. And so she illustrates products for us and she makes with a lot of the products that she has illustrated. I don't know, Brian, did I, is Sherry here with she us? Is here. Mm -hmm. This is a, the die, matching dies for that My Love greeting set. We sell them separately and um, together as a set. Speaking of Sherry, I'm going to move on um, to the next release, which is called Sweetheart. I don't know. You guys don't necessarily have to know the names of the releases, but Sherry illustrated how fun are these love bulbs. I can't wait to show you guys all these great projects. So Sherry illustrated the love bulb. See this shaker card? This one is by Callie Person. See how she cut the love bulbs with gold cardstock. Thank you to all of you who are watching us live today. We have a $100 gift card for somebody commenting that is just for extra fun that Brian's going to be drawing at the end of our live today. And I will remind everybody about that $500 20 years of distress celebration we have going on during 2024 thanks to our favorite Tim Holtz. Tomorrow is the last new color of this series. He's releasing, um, revealing the new distress color that we have been very eagerly awaiting to see. And at Simon Says Stamp, we're pre-ordering that new color. So as soon as he reveals it tomorrow, we are going to start shipping your pre-orders of that new color. Um, just to remind you, while I'm talking about it, you use 20, hashtag 20 years of distress on Instagram when you use any Tim Holtz Distress product, and you will be eligible to win a $500 gift card. Okay, now I'm going to talk some more inspiration. This is a little bit outside of the pun intended box. This stamp set, illustrated by Christina Warner, is called Hello There Animals. I can't wait for you to see these cute little projects. Leave this on somebody's desk. Thank you, Jean's Dor Jean Doringsfeld. She made this little pillow box and decorated it with that bunny. And this very simple project, well, I say simple, but I haven't tried to make it. It looks like it, I, could, I could probably, I'm not great at complicated pro projects, just FYI. And I think that even though I'm not great at complicated project products, I could do this. Piece of candy wrapped with a beautiful decorative paper, stamped with You Are So Loved. Look how cute that puppy is colored in. These have coordinating dies because you guys are loving our coordinating dies. So we have them available sold separately or as a set. And then this beautiful card also by Jean Doringsfeld. Oh, hello there. And that oh, hello there is part of the set. Fun, cute. I mean, don't, I mean, seriously, does that not just make you smile? 
Okay, so let me show you some more inspiration with that. Another cute little pillow box. This one is used with the, I guess he's a cat. That was something that brought light into my year. What, did, what brought light into your 2023? We got f adopted five cats in 2023. Yes, five cats. Thanks to my daughter. I've always been a cat lover. We had a stray cat come to our, our garage in January that was freezing, this tiny little kitten that both of my kids together and nurse back to health, and that made my heart warm. Then we had somebody at my office, Stephanie, who's probably on our live today. She had a, a black cat in her neighborhood that apparently didn't have a home. He was living on random people's porches and nobody in the neighborhood could figure out whose he was. So I adopted and he is just a sweetheart, our Peter. We named the first cat Shadow, the second cat Peter. And then when we were shopping for food, uh, a rescue had three little kitten siblings, I call them the Sibs now, that my daughter could not take her eyes off of. She filled out that application and we adopt, I mean, it took me a few weeks to say yes. I'll be honest, she was pretty persistent. She filled out the application. She texted the rescue place saying, if anybody else is interested in these cats, please let me know because I want my mom to, to, to let me get them, something to that effect. Uh, she wanted her brother to go meet the cats. Um, eventually her brother was like, I don't need to meet the cats. If you really want them, then it's fine with me. Uh, and she takes over the responsibility of helping with the litter boxes and, and keeping things straight. And so now we have five cats. And I'll tell you what, they really do, pets, man, they really do bring. And you know, Simon, Simon was my pet and still is my pet. He just um, lives with us now in spirit. Uh, Simon was my Boston Terrier that I adopted in 2001 and um, became the logo for Simon Says Stamp. Uh, that's, you know, we talk about things that bring light into our lives in 2023. And while you guys are in the chat, I want you to please share what kinds of things have brought light into your life in 2023. Because in 2024, we definitely want to keep looking towards the light. We want to be the light for other people. We want to focus our attention on the light. And I'm telling you what, it's going to do a lot for your mental health and for everybody around you. And Bestie, speaking of light, I have a little bit of a tan because one of my favorite people in the world who is my sister from another mister, my daughter actually calls her mom too. It was her, we just celebrated her 50th birthday um, in the sun. I just got back yesterday. And so I have a little bit of tan from celebrating um, one of my favorite people on earth's birthday. And, uh, that was fun. That, I, look, I look at 2024 starting off to a really good tone and that definitely helped. What are you guys saying in the chat, Brian? What are people saying in 2023 has brought them a lot of light? Lots of pets, cats and their dogs and their grandchildren and their children and their friends and crafting. Oh, yay. I, do you feel like everybody is saying that because... I like, did I plant subliminal messaging and say those things? But it sounds like a lot of us have a lot of things in common. A lot of similarities. Yeah, a lot of similarities. And I'm hoping that all this inspiration that I'm showing you today helps you be inspired to craft. You know, just make one thing this weekend. Sometimes it gets overwhelming for me because my craft room gets super messy. I am definitely one of those messy crafters. Thank you, Michelle Peckham, for sending this. And so sometimes it feels daunting to start a project in my craft room, but if I start with one thing in mind, it just steamrolls from there. It, ironically, my mom has been encouraging me. I was not planning on sharing all this today. I really chitter chat, chatty today. Um, my mom has been encouraging me to exercise because those endorphins also help. So she said, just do five minutes. If you do five minutes, you're gonna be going and you're gonna be like, I'm just gonna keep going. So I think crafting is the same thing. You start with one, you don't have to continue. Sometimes one craft hits a spot, but once you make one thing, you tend to sit and continue. And my mom was right, because maybe that's one of the reasons why I have so much energy today. I worked out this morning and I did not stop at five minutes and um, kept going. And it does, it, f it feeds your endorphins. And my friend Mandy has been encouraging me. We've been trying to, we talked about what our 2024 was gonna look like. And she kept saying, you know, she wanted to spend more time 
less time scrolling and more time doing things that put impact into her life. And so I texted her, you know, 30 minutes. We want to take 30 minutes and do something really healthy. And so it was really fun. I texted her this morning. I was like, hey, I did my 30 minutes this morning. So when you have that like buddy who's checking in on you, it, uh, it also helps you make good decisions, which is kind of like when we do our where our projects on Instagram and you have crafting buddies virtually. I know there's a lot of you out there who have crafting buddies. You know, people who often are commenting on your work or sharing their own work and tagging you and other people's funny jokes or you know that who's that lumberjack that's on Instagram that's always cutting heavy wood and you've got um, people tagging you so you can see his latest video or I don't know, whatever, cats, funny jokes, whatever it is. Um, here, I keep moving on. This one, these are really interesting. This is a newer product for us. These are foil transfer cards. Um, sneak peek of what's to come in our upcoming card kit, actually. So these are little cards that you can leave as they are, or you can run through a foiling machine. So this one by Michelle Peckham. Michelle ran her foiling card through a foiling machine and added hot foil to it to make that rainbow. These are exceptional and I'm telling you, um, stay tuned for our card kit for February. We have a new system and you guys have asked us for this for years and years and years. And Brian, who app, who's with me today, is one of the people who helped make this happen. We have finally gotten a system where we are automating our card kit subscriptions. So look to your email inbox in the next day or two and you will receive the directions on what you need to do to automate your card kit. Um, this is called Printmaking Hearts. This is a stamp set by Miriam Prantner. Thank you, Miriam. I think this is by Miriam. I hope I didn't misspeak. Um, I've got inspiration using this. So, Stay tuned in your inbox for information on the card kit because we want to inspire you to set your card kit subscription up automated. And because we're trying to motivate you, we're giving you a free stamp set if you're subscribing into our new system for the month of February. And um, you don't want to miss that. But that's more to come. I don't want to go too far off um, the beaten path for this release. Uh, these are the printmaking hearts. I'm continuing to show you all these beautiful cards. This by Nina Marie. This one by Barbara Terrial. You know Barbara with the beautiful hands. Um, Allison Frazier. Thank you. I love these colors. So she just stamped multiple colors and lined up. It's like printmaking. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? You would look at these stamps and never have any idea that you could make this with those stamps. So I love all the inspiration. This one is by Miriam Prantner. So Miriam, who also illustrated the stamp set for us, sent us some inspiration. Thank you for doing that, Miriam. She also sent this inspiration and this inspiration and this inspiration. So Miriam's really helping us understand how to use that stamp set she designed. Thank you. That's good. It's good when we all come together to work on something like that. One of my favorite products of this relief release, I think the world of you. Now, for obvious reasons, it's a great sentiment, right? I think the world of you. But I also look at this inspiration, this card by Carly T. Minner. I'm not sure, do you guys know, do you say Carly's last name Minner or Minor? I know she's been influencing in our card making world for many years, so I've only been reading her name. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This one by Susie Plantamura. I love the style, how this die could be the basic foundation of your card. As a matter of fact, it could be your whole card front. It's nice and big. It's the perfect size for A2 cards. You can go floral, kind of floral chic. I don't know if you guys are seeing, but one of the hot trends this year is ribbon and the shabby chic look um, is becoming really, really popular again, Joe Sysabeth, which is perfect in time for the celebration of 20 years of distress with Tim Holtz. The, a lot of the, the browns and the grays and the products he has in his distress line really lend for that shabby chic, fun, um, antique vintage look. And speaking of antiques, my goodness, do you guys antique? 
or I think they call it now um, thrifting, um, going to thrift stores and finding these beautiful, beautiful products and making them new again. Okay, Friendship Leafy Cluster is a set of dies. Actually, this card is by Barbara Terrial. I think I'm gonna take these cards out of this scene so you can focus. There we go, okay. This one is by Jessica Vasher. And Jessica also used the stamp set, the frame stamp set I showed a little while ago to make that. Love this, Jessica, look at this. How cool is that? Now she actually used the stamps that coordinate with this. It's a stamp set. I know Sherry designed that stamp set. Hmm. I'm not seeing it, Brian. Maybe, maybe it'll come up as I keep going. But these are the, oh, here it is. My goodness. This stamp set called Friendship Leafy Cluster. Look how Jessica die cut. So the dies and the stamps are sold separately and you could get them as a set. And when you have the set, you see how you could heat emboss with a metallic and then die cut. Isn't this card beautiful? Ink blend on the background, put a sentiment on the front. Really gorgeous. And then this card is actually made by the same person, Jessica Vasher. So how different uh, is that style? So she die cut the Friends for Life as her sentiment on the front of this card. Really pretty. And boy, Tracy Ware, I just got your package. Thank you for mailing it to me with the nicest note. Again, people that don't even have any idea, I don't, I don't know if I've ever even met Tracy in person yet, but um, she is our guest designer and sent uh, the wonderful note with her cards. Um, and look how she ink blended in the background to make these. Aren't these gorgeous? Friendship Leaf Cluster Stamps. And last but not least, I love this color scheme that Jessica created with it too. How beautiful with the pink and the green. So again, this is the Friendship Leaf Cluster. If any of these products are sold out on our website, because I do know a lot of them had inventories that were getting a little lower. If you see a product that's sold out, please know all you need to do is click the notify me when back in stock button. And as soon as we restock, you will receive an email telling you that we have restocked. This is a special new product. Again, another sneak peek of something that's gonna be in our February card kit. Uh, these are called Sparkly Hearts. So there is a line of products by Rainbow Splash, exclusive to Simon Says Stamp, and they are a more affordable line of products, and they include things like these sticker hearts. Uh, these are only $2.99. These all have adhesive on them. And you'll see Sherry put it in this card. She put some of her beautiful little hearts on there. And I'm gonna save these other product projects because they are actually going with the card kit that has not yet been released. And I don't know, should I be sneak peeking the card kit? I think so. <laughs> Brian, like, easy answer, yes, I think so. Well, maybe if we have time at the end, I'll sneak peek the February card kit because our February card kit will go live on January 14th. The 14th of every month is when we reveal the card kit. Again, that I think of you world sentiment. I think of, I think the world of you. Uh, this is by Jean Doringsfeld. She used our new tessellating snowflakes. Now, one thing I like about this embossing folder is it's not it's named snowflakes, but you don't have to just use it for snowflakes. Like I think Jean did a really good job here of showing you how you can use this embossing folder when it's not even winter. Now this card by Michelle Peckham does have a more wintry theme on it. She used an embossing folder here. And then this one, obviously, um, this is by Emily Midget, has a, a winter theme too but you don't only have to use this embossing folder for winter themed product projects or cards. Um, I'm showing you a lot of cards today, but you guys know you can use your imaginations. We're all crafters. We know that these products are good for cards and for everything else. Okay, Kathy Zilski is in our chat today. And you guys show Kathy some love. 
How clever was she in illustrating this stamp set for us? I can't wait to show you all the fun ways. And there's dies too, so you can punch out. Look at this, all the fun ways. Friendship bingo. <laughs> all right, everybody buckle up. Pay attention. <laughs> Can you make a bingo with any of these sentiments? Calls me at strange hours. Knows my cell phone number by heart. Has known me more than five years. Thinks I'm really pretty. Knows my real hair color. Has slept at my house. Has done questionable things with me. Knows all my secrets. Would give me the shirt off their back. Lives more than 50 miles away, usually takes a plane to see me, shares my love of crafting, friend freebie right in the middle, tolerates my craft obsession. I don't know about you, I have some friends like the one who just celebrated her 50th birthday. She is not as crafty, but she does tolerate my crafty obsession, knows I will always be there, has known me more than 10 years, treats me, texts me all the time, shares far too many memes, that would be me, knows I love them, that would be me, and is also loved by my family, can tell me anything always, thinks I'm a true friend, has been tipsy with me more than once, is pretty much my favorite person, has known me for like ever. How freaking fun is this friendship bingo? So there's dies, so you can actually die cut out the pieces out of different colors of cardstock or however you wanna do it, color your vellum, which is what Cindy from CRN Crafts did here. She um, cut these out of either shrinky dink or vellum and probably colored them with a Copic marker to make those them the bingo colors. So she's sending this to one of her friends that covers those pieces. This card, I love how also Heather Rui has a polka dotted envelope with this card. This card is by Karen Downs. Look at what she, you know, what she's sending to her friend. What a clever idea. And this is by Michelle Peckham as well. She, she picked a pattern to cover her friendship bingo. How fun is this? So Kathy Zilski, so far, this is definitely my favorite stamp set for 2024 because how fun is this to do, to make, to send, to put on somebody's desk, whatever it might be. So kudos, great, great, great job, Kathy. Okay. I've got another stamp and die set. This is called Love Ribbon, Hope, Hope, and Love. Many of you know that I'm an advocate for the Huntington's Disease Society of America. I'm on the board here in Central Ohio. And something like this um, is great for somebody who is suffering, um, hoping through any type of, whether it's Huntington's disease or breast cancer or anything, there's sadly far too many reasons for us to make these cards. Uh, and if you want help in making a card like this, we have stamps and dies uh, to offer you to share hope. Messages of encouragement and hope to your friends and to your family. Okay, Charming Daisy. This is a die illustrated by Memory Box. Really beautiful inspiration. Oh my gosh, Joe Sysabath. He took an inspir or he took a um, sentiment strip, ran it through his foil machine because yes, you can do that. That was a reverse sentiment strip, and put all that foil on the front. Um, if you guys want techniques, tips, and tricks on how to use foil, whether it's laminating foil or hot foil. Yes, there are two kinds, and I think that is the main source of confusion in our industry, is that there's two kinds of foil. Go to our YouTube channel, because our YouTube channel has lots of tips, tricks, techniques, and instructions for how to use your foils. Another Susie Plantamura card, and my goodness, Callie person, lovely. You are the best, and yes, Callie, you really are one of the best. I will definitely say that with confidence. Another floral, this is a leaf flourish. Floral E, you can add the florals to it. I love this card by Emily Midget. Oh, Emily, she also used the stamp set from this collection as well to create that border and the dies for friendship. Beautiful card, Emily. I'm the greens this year are really striking. Bestie, another Kathy Zilski design. Here is a tag. This tag is by Joe Sysavet. You guys are seeing these delicate florals everywhere, aren't you? And then this card is by Karen Downs. 
happy birthday, besties. See, you can think about things besides romantic love when you make cards for smitten and sweetheart releases. All of these products I'm showing you today are exclusive to Simon Says Stamp, available at simonsaysstamp.com. We try to be your one-stop shop. So we are now selling ribbon. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz box by, in his ideology collection. It's a vignette box. Sherry Carroll created this. See how it's 3D, it could go on your table. We have the box, we, this, she painted it white with Tim's Picket Fence white acrylic paint. Uh, we have the die cutting machines, we have the cardstock, we have the metallic cardstock, we have ribbon. We really do, we have glue, adhesives of all types, wet, tape runners, hot glue, you name it. Glue sticks, glue pens. At Simon Says Stamp, we want to be your one-stop shop. And that is all from my passion and my love of crafting. One of the things I discovered early on is I liked to find all of my craft supplies at one place. And you Stampin' Up! lovers, you know what I'm talking about. I got hooked on Stampin' Up! And then I went beyond Stampin' Up! and started my own company where we now illustrate our own stamps and our own products too. And my goal is for us to inspire you, educate you, and offer you these really beautiful, high quality products all in one place. And I'm telling you the Tim Holtz products are a staple for all of us, whether we're a card maker, whether we're in mixed media, whether we're art journaling, book making, book binding. So Tim has done our industry so many favors um, and it couldn't be a better time for us to celebrate 20 years of distress with Tim Holtz. Uh, I'm gonna go to one of our best selling products of this release and this is the Sweetheart. I think because it's fancy, it's a fancy Sweetheart die set. I think because of the style of it really going with the sentiment Sweetheart, um, it's really this, oh, I'm sorry. Um, this is by Carly T. Minner as well. I'm sorry, Carly, some of your cards got bent in transit, but I didn't want to miss, um, Brian had them set aside for me, but they're so beautiful. I didn't want to miss showing them on screen for everybody and share your beautiful work. So thank you, Carly, for sending these, these in. And this one is by Michelle Peckham. Beautiful, Michelle. Cindy, see how all these makers make different styles, different things. It's the beauty for us all being individuals. Joe Sisevath, we have different ideas. And then this one is by Allison Frazier, sweetheart. I'm going, to, I'm almost finished everybody. I've got a couple more pieces of inspiration to share with you. We still are gonna draw the $100 winner. I'm gonna remind you all how you could qualify for that $500 gift card we're giving away every month during 2024. Again, we are celebrating Tim's distress embossing glazes, enamel glazes, in January. And you can go to our website and find the complete collection of all of Tim Holtz products. I'm going to show you some heart stencils. This is heart banners, and if you like Tim Holtz products, our stencils go great. Not just with his inks, but also his pastes, his texture paste. One of my all-time favorite products are Tim's texture paste. Um, here is a card by CZ Design where she is using some paste with the stencil here. It's hard on um, screen to tell that that's paste, but I tell you what, when it's in person, you can feel and see that that paste gives you a beautiful raised surface. And this stencil is called Heart Blooms. This is what Kathy actually used in this card. And then these cards here, this is called Heart Banners, and you can use them in different ways. So literally, Tracy Ware created her Heart Banners this way. They're layering stencils. And you can see on the packaging, you can layer them in different, you can also make them go different ways. This one by Karen Downs, she's making her stencils all go in different directions. So there's loads of possibilities for those. And then this, just my type friend, I'm almost finished with the inspiration folks. And then I'm gonna get to our winners. Um, just my type friend has a stencil set and also a die set. You can see here, this Michelle Peckham card she used the die and the stencils to create that card. And then Michelle Peckham also used the die and the stencils to create the thank you. Isn't that a cool impact? If you're a seasoned crafter 
and you're looking for something new and interesting, I would highly recommend um, to spark your creativity this series, Just My Type Friend, because these dies and stencils allow you to create some really cool impact that people are gonna look at and go, how did she do that? Okay, last but not least for this inspiration, I've got the Friendship Leafy Cluster Stencils. And these leafy, cr leafy clusters have been super popular in the dies and the stamps, and these stencils are, go with them very well as well. I like this A2 size card by Callie Person. Thank you, Callie. C greens, we're seeing a lot of sensational greens. Okay, I'm gonna round out my showcase today by sharing with you three wildly popular. Thank you all for loving our Simon Says Stamp inks. Our positively saturated inks have been developed over the last few years in color trios for you. And we just released this new color trio, Dew, Mist, and Raindrop. These are beautiful blues. They're nice wintry blues for this time of year. And in classic Simon Says Stamp form, we have the labels on them for you. I like to put them in my shelf this way and I feel like I'm, um, I'm like the everyday crafter. So we go the extra mile and we put these labels on for you. So we have these sold as a trio or singles or as a set. You can get them in any way you choose on the website. And we also have the coordinating um, re-inkers that that match these. And I love that you guys are loving our new inks. Um, I think I have a card here showcasing some of these inks in action. And this is by Heather Rui. Thank you, Heather, for doing that. And then she used the um, Hey Bestie, Bestie and Reverse Bestie sentiment strips on her card as well. So these are other classic Simon Says Stamp products. I just want to remind you about the products. Our positively saturated inks are ideal for ink blending, but they also provide a really nice result for any stamping. These are really wonderful inks, and I, I think that um, if you go on Instagram and look at Simon Says Stamp, you'll see a lot of people using them. Another product information tidbit I want to share with you is about our sentiment strips. They come, the looks are deceiving because when you look at this pack, you don't know that there's actually four in here. So the fun fact of this is there's four. So you can cut them. Those Tim Holtz shears work great. And the Tim Holtz trimmer work, any of his trimmers work great for cutting our sentiment strips. The other fun fact about our sentiment strips are that they're made with toner ink. So if you do want to hot foil these, you can, or excuse me, laminate foil, um, you can. These are foilable and we have them in reverse and in the, in the opposite. So that's a little bit of note about our sentiment strips. So I think as far as inspiration goes, Oh, I think I'm, I think I'm going to put on some lipstick. Yes, Brian. Did you want to show do something else? So do people in the chat think that there's time? Do you guys think there's time for me to show you the February card kit sneak? I did sneak some of the products already that, that are in that February card kit. Um, I don't know. Is there time? We got, we're right at the <laughs> I did not plan it to be exactly like that. Um, I do have a February card kit. Thank you to Tara. Um, I do have a Feb February card kit here. I will show you that in this February card kit, there are two products that were part of our release that we just went through, but there's also a lot of other products. So this is a sneak peek of our February card kit of the month. Yes, there's a die. Many of you um, love that we put coordinating dies into our kits. If you want to know more, you can put the camera up front if you don't mind, Brian. If you want to know more about our subscription program for our Card Kit of the Month, make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Our sign up is at the top of our website, simonsystamp.com. We are in the middle of sending out hundreds of thousands of emails telling you and showing you how to use our new Card Kit subscription program. The goal, which for many years has been the goal, it's just been very difficult. I have a degree in psychology and sociology. Lucky for me, we have people here like Brian who are technology gurus. We moved to a new website in 2023, another reason why 2023 was very difficult. Personally for me, uh, we moved to a new website 
But the great thing of that new website, and it's much better, it's much better for our customers. The transition is just what's hard, right? I mean, when we move a house or we go to a new school or we change a job, the transition is, is the stress. So the transition is, is, is com mostly complete because now we're rolling out the new card kit. But the reason we did it is because this new card kit program is going to allow you to add other things to your cart. So you're going to not have to pay for multiple shipping and handling charges. So you can get the card kit plus maybe that glue you need to replenish or maybe that new color of ink pad you want to try or maybe Tim Holt's new distress color or his new mat or anything, his new trimmer or Hero Art's new glitter or our new 6x6 glitter cardstock you might want to add to your cart. And you don't have to pay multiple shipping charges. The ease of use for you is so much easier. And then you'll have your history uh, of whether or not you've bought that kit or maybe you, we still, I think there's gonna be questions and Brian, you can interrupt me. Um, I will be doing a more um, detailed video on how to use the new program. We're not quite there yet because we haven't rolled it on our website. I don't think today, it's not yet today or is it? No, it's not quite live yet. The email is going to be going out here very soon. Okay. And people can be uh, jumping on board over the weekend. Okay. Over the weekend, the email the email will be going out, and you can start jumping on board. You will see on our YouTube channel, we're going to have a video showcasing how to use that. That's going to be in the coming weeks. Nina, I think, is working on that video for you. Thank you, Nina. And we can go live and walk you through. It's really user friendly. So if anybody has any questions or needs any help, we are still going with the same philosophy. You can opt out of that card kit at any time. I put those card kits together. I build them for you. I have help. Christina Werner helps me illustrate a lot of the stamp sets. Uh, Nina also helps. I'm not doing it all by myself, but I have a lot of fun pulling those kits together. And the card kit thing came about about 11 years ago because I would travel. I would go see my parents or my sister and I felt overwhelmed because I would pack up my whole, I felt like I was packing up my whole craft room. Whereas really I only had enough time to make a couple of projects. Well, our card kit is intended for you to be able to take that kit wherever you go, even if it's your upstairs kitchen table, even if it's in your spare bedroom, even if it's in your dining room, and sit down and have lots of products that coordinate beautifully together at your fingertips, along with an inspiration sheet. We email you videos on different ways to use the kit. We have our YouTube channel that has guest designers constantly showing you their ideas for the kits. The kits are a great way for a crafter. And they're still $34.99 for a subscription and $39.99 if you choose to just buy one kit and not subscribe, there's still an excellent, excellent value. So make sure you sign up for our Simon's to Stamp newsletter. That sign up is at the top of our website. And then this weekend, you'll be getting emails on sharing how you can subscribe. And because we're trying to motivate you to get to get over the hump and actually click, click, click and fill out your information, we're giving you a free stamp set, an extra free stamp set with your February subscription uh, as our gift to you for rolling out this new program. The details again are going to be in your inbox. Okay, I'm seeing the inspiration and being charged to craft. I love, who said that word charge, Vivian? I love that, charged up. Yes, charged up to craft, be inspired. It's like lightning in a bottle to get going. And then, Brian, I know that during the live, you were moderating the chat to see if there was a $100, um, a person who is going to be getting a $100. Oh, he put it underneath my, thank you. Um, before I announce the winner of the $100 gift card for watching us live, I do want to remind you, if you're watching us live or if you're watching us on rewatch, 2024 is the 20th anniversary of Tim Holtz Distress Products. And if you hashtag SSS, 20 years of distress, that'll help us see you. That'll help us find you by your hashtag. If you make anything, any project, a journal, a note, a ticket, a tag, a card, anything at all, using any Tim Holtz Distress products this year, make sure you use that hashtag because every single month we are going to choose a five hundred dollar randomly chosen we're not going to be judging your art i promise there's no judging in art five hundred dollar gift card for somebody for simonsystamp.com 
and you can load up on all things distress, all things you want at our one-stop shop, Simon Says Stamp. So I would encourage you to share and to post what you are making. And if your name is Linda Evanoff, Linda, you should email read, R-E-E-D, at simonsaysstamp.com and he will send you your $100 gift card. Now I will say he won't be back until Monday. So you won't get it until Monday. He's on a very well-deserved day off today, but Reed will send you that $100 gift card to simonsaysstamp.com and you can get any of these wonderful things we made. I hope that I was encouraging for you today to be the light, to share the light, to craft, to, to feel it, and to move into 2024 with positive, joyful energy because it makes a difference not just in your life, but it makes a difference in your family and your friends and your coworkers and everybody around you when you have a smile on your face and you're feeling good feelings, that smile is much easier, is much easier and much lighter to come by. And I'm so optimistic about 2024 and I'm so grateful that each of you has chosen to spend this time with me talking today, but also sharing with you today because I wouldn't be doing this without you. And I get to do this because of you. So thank you. And to thank you to Brian for all the impact. Now, before I say toodaloo, were there any questions, Brian, that I should answer before we say goodbye? No, amazingly, it was... I talked enough to answer all the questions. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. I saw my name on the screen, Jenna. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Oh, and Allison Frazier, who sent us inspiration, is joining us live today, too. Thank you. Thank you to all the illustrators and makers. Before I say goodbye, uh, we have a finger up in the air from Brian. Yes. Just remind them of who's joining us with uh, joining us at our next live. Oh. Oh my gosh, we have something exciting next week. We are gonna go live with Gina Krupski. So you'll, she's gonna share something really special and exclusive we have for you, a gift that we have for you from Gina here at Simon Says Stamp. So we're gonna, Gina and I are gonna go live together on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel next week. Is it Tuesday? My days, I just got back, I told you I just got Wednesday. back from celebrating my friend's 50th birthday and I'm, I'm like, what day is it? Yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday, we're gonna be going live with Gina and thanks to Gina. She has a wonderful, beautiful line of products and is so inspiring and fun to watch. It's really an honor that we get to, to chat live with her. So next Wednesday at noon, we're gonna go live again. And um, Jean is actually gonna make on live, make live on screen for you as a, as a treat for all of you. So thank you again for spending this time with me today. There's really no place I'd rather be right now. So thank you very much. Toodaloo, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. See ya.